Hey guys, just uh, doing another um, different show right here. So if you guys don't know, you can find me on LinkedIn and uh, people ask me some questions. So I figure I'm going to throw it on the channel, um, just relevant information of some experience I have. So hopefully I can share it with whoever's interested and let's go ahead and talk about it. So um, he basically is saying, I listened to your videos. I remember you talking about your business school experience and how you said it wasn't worth the investment. I was planning to do an MBA in the US and I wanted your perspective on this topic. Okay, so once again, um, I'm gonna just immediately say, if you're international, it depends. If you wanna stay in the United States, um, you gotta pay off that debt. <laughs> but if you don't plan on coming back to the US, I don't know what's gonna happen. So that's one factor. So um, just right off the bat, if you're gonna do an MBA, debt. How much, how much debt are you incurring? And for me, I basically had zero debt and uh, I'll give you some more background. So I bought my first property when I was 22 years old. How does anyone do that? Uh, I ended up graduating college from UC Irvine. You can look at my LinkedIn. Um, so I graduated from UCI at the age of 20 and was able to get a job and started my MBA at the age of 23. So I already had bought my first house before I even started my MBA. And, um, and the reason I was able to not take out student loans was um, I did a part-time MBA. So I was working and going to school. And I highly recommend this method. If your option for school is either work in school or full-time school, I think it's a terrible idea because uh, everyone has a degree now, everyone wants work experience, so I would figure out a way with all the online, all the stuff you can do to do it online. Now, when it comes to MBA, your brand and your ranking is very important, and from my experience, it's if you're looking to work for people, I went into the entrepreneurial route, so once again, it's not as worth it to me, but um, people that want to get high paying jobs, then it's very, very important you get a good internship and you're gonna have to do some research. Is that MBA program gonna get you an internship to, and remember you gotta compete with other MBAs in your program, so it's not easy. There's a lot of variables. So um, these are all things you gotta consider, but um, let's just go back to the basics. So the one thing I highly recommend if you're gonna do your MBA is work. Do not stop working because that's just more stuff you can put on your resume and the MBA for me didn't really even make sense because uh, let's do the math I graduated at 20 started my MBA at 23 so I really just had two and a half three years of work experience and looking back I wish I did an executive MBA which would have been 10 years and it would have been half the cost and instead of spending the money I would have invested in real estate but you see Investing in real estate from 2010 to 2012 has a little different rate of return and was definitely a lot more uh, higher, like higher cap rate or it was a lot more profitable back then. So once again, these are all like factors I'm just going to mention and it's, it's hard to say that it's going to reapply. The only like one thing I'm going to just go ahead and beat the nail on the uh, head or I don't know, I'm going to annoy you guys about this is debt. If you're going to put on debt, I would say that's a big no-no, and if there's ways that you can get your employer to play, pay for it, parents, start a GoFundMe, do that. And then the second biggest thing is um, work. Never ever become a full-time student. This is for even undergrad. Um, you should always have some sort of part-time side hustle, side gig, whatever. And even if you have a job right now and you're watching this on YouTube, it might really suck for me to tell you this, but you should have more than one source of income. And whether it's investing, whether it's doing other stuff, I don't really care, but you should have a side hustle. Um, and uh, if you're gonna do the work route, I would definitely do that as well. But anyway, so I wanted to answer that question. If you guys wanna send me more messages, I'm on Instagram and I'm also on LinkedIn. So I'll try to answer your questions and I'm gonna do another video on one of my real estate deals. So hopefully you guys will check, like that as well. And yeah, just let me leave your comments, give me your thoughts, and I will talk to you soon.